today I'm going to show you how to make a chunky vegetable soup in a show, slow cooker. Not only is this a simple and delicious recipe, it's a great way of making sure that you get your vegetables as part of maintaining a healthy diet. As we watch the clip, I'll be telling you when to pause so you can complete the task I've demonstrated and simply play, press play when you want to move on to the next task. You can also rewind it if you, hadn't, if you need to see the clip again. First things first, let's begin, we wash our hands. Right, so let's begin. The equipment you'll need today is one sharp knife, one chopping board, your slow cooker, a measuring jug, some spoons, a tablespoon and a teaspoon, and a vegetable peeler. The ingredients we're going to use to cook this are two carrots, one parsnip, a potato, any size will do, an onion, some celery, some stock, we're using knorr but stock cues will also work, some curry powder and some ground coriander and finally some pearl barley. Right, the next stage we need to do is to prepare our slow cooker. So we're going to take out the pot inside the slow cooker and we're going to plug our slow cooker in so it starts to warm up. So this is our, my slow cooker. I am going to turn it onto low, as you can see here. So it will now start warming up. Right, we're, now we are ready to prepare our vegetables. So I, I have washed my carrot and now I am going to peel it. So take a vegetable peeler. If you don't have a vegetable peeler, a knife will do or just a good scrub under the sink. Oh. Right, so now we've got our carrots. I'm gonna cut it into small pieces. Roughly short, we don't need to be too precise. And put that into our pot and then move on to cut the other carrot. So feel free to pause now while you prepare your carrots and then we will move on to the next vegetable. Right, we're now going to move on to our parsnip. So with the parsnip we're simply going to chop the ends and discard those bits and then take our peeler and peel our parsnip. Once we've peeled our parsnip, it's now time to chop. With parsnips, the best way to chop them is to cut them in half. They're quite tough. And then take the half you've cut and cut it again. And then chop that into rough pieces. Once you've chopped both halves, you can put them into the pot with the carrots. Now, now it's time to pause the video while you prepare the parsnips and then we'll move on to the next vegetable. Now we take our potato and we peel that. Once our potato is peeled, it's time to chop our potato. Simply cut it into strips and then into cubes or dices. So cut them lengthways, then horizontally, and then add, once it's all cut, add that to your pot. Now, if you want to pause again, now's a good time and we'll move on to the next vegetable. Right, we're now ready to prepare our onion. With our onion, you take your onion, a simple way to cut it into pieces, is to cut it in half through the top and all the way down through the root. So then you end up with two halves. I'll simply remove the skin and cut off the top and discard those pieces. Then, if you make incisions or cut, lengthways and 
and then cut the opposite way, you'll end up with chunks of onion. When you've cut your chunks, they can be added to your pot along with the other vegetables. Uh, now we can pause and cut your onion and then we'll move on to the last vegetable. Finally team, we are going to take our celery. And take our celery, I'm going to discard the top bit, cut that off, and I'm going to cut the bottom bit off, and then simply make a cut lengthways down the celery, and again, chop into chunks. Once your celery is all cut, add that to the dish, Now you can pause while you cut the celery. Right, now we are going to prepare our stock. We need our measuring jug, our stock. I'm using Knorr stocks. There are two of these for the litre. I'm gonna boil the kettle and then make our stock. Right, now we are ready to make our stock. So we're gonna take our stock cubes or pots Open the pot. Quite usual to have a little spoon if you're using the pots to get them out. I'm using two. And with a spoon or a fork, we are gonna stir and combine these in with the hot water. Be careful, obviously, because the water will be boiling. I've got my litre mark here, and I'm gonna fill the water up to that point. So now it's time to incorporate the stock. The stock. Be careful not to scold yourself. Now uh, we'll press pause while you make your stock. Now we're simply gonna pour the stock over the vegetables into our pot. Again, being careful not to scold ourselves. You want to fill to just about a centimetre below the rim, making sure that all the vegetables are covered. And if you've got some left over, that is fine. Now we're time to pause while you pour your stock in. Right, now we are going to add our remaining ingredients to the pot. So first of all, we need to weigh out the pearl barley. So we need 100 grams of pearl barley. Wonderful. Right, we're now going to pour our pearl barley into our pot. That is done. Now it's time to add our spices. We've got two spices here. We've got ground cumin and we have curry powder. With the ground cumin, we are going to add two teaspoons. Nice level teaspoons. Just sprinkle that over the top. And the second one. Now with the curry powder, I'm using a medium curry powder. If you like it quite spicy, then I would suggest you go to one and a half to two tablespoons. If you like it quite mild, one tablespoon, I'm gonna go with one tablespoon. We are then gonna add our tomato puree. It is again one teaspoon, oh sorry, one tablespoon. Put that all in and give it to stir around. Now you can pause this video while you incorporate your spices into your dish. step in preparing our ingredients into our pot is to add some fresh herbs if you have some to hand. I'm using parsley, I quite like the taste of parsley, but you could use basil, thyme or actually any herb that you've got available. Simply cut the herb up, chop it into small pieces, and 
and add to the top of your dish. Now you can pause the video while you deal with your fresh herbs. Right, and now we are ready to place our vegetable soup into the slow cooker. It is already on low, warming gently. Put the lid on. Right, so now that's cooking away, I'm gonna leave mine cooking for eight hours. So for example, if you were looking to have tea around six o'clock, you put it on at 10 o'clock, you do your preparation and put it on around 10 o'clock in the morning. Right, it has now been eight hours and the vegetable soup is ready. So I need to remove the vegetable soup from the slow cooker. Be sure when you're removing the pot from the slow cooker, you use oven gloves because it's very hot and you have a heat proof surface to put the pot on to. Right, so now my soup is ready to eat. It looks delicious. Simply gonna ladle some out into a bowl. Now I like to eat mine with some crunchy wholemeal bread. You can either have it in its own with some bread or maybe sprinkle a little bit of cheese, whatever you fancy. With the leftovers, it freezes very, very easily. So simply put the leftovers into some Tupperware, into the fridge, in, sorry, into the freezer. And when you are ready to eat it, take it out of the freezer, leave it defrost overnight. Then you can simply heat it in the microwave for four minutes or put it back on the hob for about 15 minutes. And then you have your delicious chunky vegetable soup.